Hello Team RTS, my name is Ben Jewett and I'm the Director and Head Coach at West Coast Barbell Club in Perth, Western Australia. I'm also a PhD candidate at the University of Notre Dame's School of Physiotherapy. I've been coaching for over four years and have been using the Emerging Strategies Framework to coach competitive powerlifters for over two years. I'm very familiar with the RTS training log, block reviews and auto-regulated programming, having been using these tools since early 2018. I currently coach 54 lifters across three services, one-on-one -on -one personal training, group coaching, and online coaching. At present, I have the capacity to take on a further 10 to 20 online clients. Amongst my current client base, I coach five lifters who are competitive at the state level here in WA, two of which are competitive at the national level. I firmly believe that there would be a strong demand for an RTS coach based here in Perth. Across Western Australia, the sport of powerlifting is growing rapidly, and I have built a reputation locally for consistently helping clients exceed their expectations. This has been particularly true with middleweight female lifters who I thoroughly enjoy coaching and have experienced considerable success with. If you get the opportunity, please take a moment to read our five-star ratings and testimonials on Google, Facebook, and our website, westcoastbarbellclub.com. As a coach, I take an immense amount of pride in my knowledge, communication, and commitment to my clients. I have no qualms in saying that I have every aspiration to be the best coach I can possibly be. In early 2018, my focus as an athlete and coach shifted from general sports performance to powerlifting when I retired from playing rugby union and opened West Coast Barbell Club. In the time since, I have been fortunate enough to have some great mentors and have made every effort to immerse myself in the resources provided by experts in the field. These include Greg Knuckles and Derek Trexler at Stronger by Science, and I'm hopeful that there will be an opportunity to have one of them, or Dr. Mike Zordos, be involved in some capacity throughout my doctoral research. Dr. Jordan Feigenbaum and Dr. Austin Brachy of Barbell Medicine have also had a significant influence on my coaching philosophy. I am the only coach in WA to have attended their full weekend seminar, and I was set to host their first ever Australian Pain and Rehab seminar in May of this year, prior to the impacts of COVID-19. And finally, Mike Tashir and the whole team at RTS. Jim Ellie, Ross Leffler, Mark Robb, John Garifano, Paul Lee and Dizzy have all positively influenced my approach as a coach. I feel the conversations you collectively have regarding the psychological and social inputs to athlete performance go far beyond the basic biology of stress, recovery, and adaptations. This highly analytical biopsychosocial approach to understanding how to achieve the best possible outcomes for your lifters strongly resonates with me and absolutely aligns with my coaching philosophy. I firmly believe in the RTS mantra that the essential components of our coaching process encompass leadership, relationship, and creativity. I also believe these areas are strengths of mine. I frequently engage in a conscious process of self-reflection to determine where I can continue to improve within these facets of my coaching practice. In a recent Instagram post, you posed the question, what's most important to you when deciding to work with a coach? In addition to proven leadership, relationship and creativity, I believe that there are three pillars to choosing a good coach, and I believe that Mike may have publicly alluded to these himself previously. Number one, have they got a proven track record of coaching clients to achieve their goals? More specifically, have they taken clients like you in similar contexts through the process to achieving results? This doesn't necessarily mean they have to have coached world champions, but does mean they must have successfully coached people like you. Number two, do they walk the walk? meaning do they lead by example? Have they got a proven record of achieving results themselves? Again, this doesn't necessarily mean they themselves need to be world champions, but does mean they must be striving to achieve their full potential. Being evidence-based in their training approach and consistent in their behaviours, adherent to their training plan, sleep and nutrition. And finally, number three, proven knowledge in the field. Have they undertaken a process of learning to maximise their understanding of high-level performance? In my case, this currently entails pursuing the highest level of academic qualification available in doctoral research. Throughout my thesis, I intend to get a truer understanding of the role coaching can play in managing pain and injury. I could happily talk at length about the subject matter, but suffice to say that I believe having a deep understanding of pain and injury in competitive powerlifters can absolutely lead to fewer setbacks, more productive training time, and better performances on the platform. As mentioned previously, I have every intention of becoming the best coach I can possibly be competing and coaching at the highest level and being a subject matter expert with regard to pain and injury. Having the opportunity to be surrounded by some of the best coaching minds in the world at Team RTS has been an aspiration of mine since day one opening my own facility. Simply being in a position to meet all the criteria for this application and going through this application process is something I will always be immensely grateful for. If selected for further interview, I hope to convey just how much this opportunity would mean to me and what I feel I can bring to help elevate RTS well into the future. Thank you for your time and consideration. I'll look forward to hearing from you soon.